Hey guys, I have on my serious discussion glasses today and I want to talk about lending out books. If you lend out books, if you um, like to borrow books from people or how you treat people um, or how you treat books that you've borrowed um, and stuff like that. Um, I just read this article on Book Riot about, um, I'll leave a link down below because I don't actually remember the exact title of the article. But it was about um, borrowing books and, um, well actually no, it wasn't, it wasn't about that. It was about lending out books to people and when those people don't give back the books, even when you gently remind them that you would like your book back. Um, and it was really funny, it had like, a couple of ideas about how to shame them into giving back the books. Um, and so it made me start thinking about um, uh, the way that I lend out books to people um, and the way that other people might. If anyone has any like suggestions or if they just have like rules about not lending books out to anyone under any circumstances. Um, I lend out books to only a couple of people. Uh, when I was younger and I had fewer books, I really didn't care who I lent my books out to. I would lend them out to classmates and um, I always wound up getting them back so I wasn't really too concerned about it. Um, I did once borrow books from someone and I lost them and that was like the worst thing I've ever done when it comes to like book related things and I felt terrible and I still feel terrible. Um, and yeah, she was really upset and I felt awful. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so I tend to, I, I will borrow books, but I'm very, very careful with them now. Um, so, yeah. But when it comes to lending out books to people, like I was saying before, um, I only lend them out to a couple of people now. Um, and people that I've lent books to in the past so who have always given me back my books in um, acceptable condition, I would say. If it's like a paperback book, I kind of expect that it'll be a little bit worn. Um, by like the third person that I lent it to, so I don't really mind if I get that back a little bit more, especially if it looks like I love and I made the person read it. Um, I don't mind if it looks like it's been read. Um, I don't really care about keeping them like really, really new. Um, but yeah, but um, I've let, I keep saying but, um, <laughs> anyway, um, I've lent uh, books out of people and then gotten them back damaged. Um, I lent one out to my brother and it was a paperback book. He didn't even read it and then it came back all scratched and I was really, really upset about that. Um, hold on a second. So angle might have changed because I had to stop filming. Um, someone got left out of the building, I had to let them in. Anyway, um, I was talking about lending books and how I got books back in bad condition before. Also, my dad has lost one of the books that I lent him. Um, I don't really mind too much because it wasn't a book that I was going to be rereading or if I cared if it was on my shelf or anything. Um, but I don't really want to lend him something that I do care about now. <laughs> so yeah, but um, I will lend out books to people, but typically to like people that I know will get the books back to me in good condition. Um, so yeah, but um, text message. So yeah, so my questions for you are, do you lend books out to people, only just a few people? And also, um, if you read the article on Book Riot, how do you get books back if um, someone seems reluctant to give it back to you? Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.